I'm Lily, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be explaining all the songs from the vault on Fearless Taylor's version in five minutes. Mr. Perfectly Fine is a breakup ballad which seems to be inspired by Taylor Swift's tumultuous breakup with Joe Jonas. Sophie Turner even went as far as posting an Instagram story about the song, What a Queen, and fans much like myself have been speculating about the meaning behind this ever since. Lyrics such as Mr. Looked Me in the Eye and Told Me You Would Never Go Away, combined with lines like Mr. Change of Heart, mock the empty promises made in the relationship. The first two verses of this song are more sad and bitter, but in the bridge, the tone becomes more hopeful. Taylor sings that she's gonna be alright someday, and in the final chorus, she even sings goodbye Mr. Perfectly Fine instead of hello, depicting the growth and journey of the song. We Were Happy is a melancholy song depicting the guilt felt as one falls out of love. Throughout the majority of the song, Taylor is reflecting on moments when we were happy, with lyrics like when the porch lights were shining bright, which also serves as a metaphor for when the future was bright. The line, back when I deserved it, highlights the guilt she feels at falling out of love. Moreover, she reflects on the prospect and hopes they used to have, singing, talking about your daddy's farm we were gonna buy someday. In the bridge, she's essentially coming to terms with the voices in her head, telling me I'm not in love anymore, and the tears shed due to these realizations. She feels guilty, because she knows that they were happy. Bye Bye Baby encapsulates the end of a relationship and sadness that comes with it. Fans speculate that the original title of the song was The One Thing. It seems to have been made the last track on the album as a way of saying goodbye both to all of the relationships explored in the album and the fans. The first verse of this song is rather nostalgic and sad, with Taylor realizing that this is the last time I'll drive this way again. She says she is lost in the gray and I try to grab at the fray, which suggests that she feels lost now that the relationship has ended and is trying to hold on. Later, she adds, and I'm so scared of how this ends, which emphasizes the feeling that she doesn't want to let go of the relationship. Nevertheless, she does ultimately say goodbye, singing you're all I want but it's not enough this time, and repeating bye bye baby consistently throughout the song to signify the ending of the relationship. Don't You is a sad breakup song set in the aftermath of running into an ex in public after they have moved on. Many people believe this song is also about Joe Jonas, as it talks about the ex dating someone new. In the first verse, Taylor runs into her ex and knows they have moved on. She states that she is sure she'll make you happy, but in the chorus, asks her ex not to rub this happiness in her face, singing, don't you say you've missed me if you don't want me again, as this makes her even more despondent, especially since she adds that I feel I love you still. This is the main theme of the song. In the bridge, she chooses to walk out of here, making a choice for the sake of her own happiness, seeing she doesn't want to pretend and re-emphasizes the purpose of the song by repeating the chorus. You All Over Me is a sad breakup song which encompasses trying to get over someone and ultimately failing. It is another song that appears to be about Joe Jonas, though it could also be Jake Gyllenhaal. The line, shouldn't I find a stain, but I never do, suggests that Taylor still feels marked or stained from the relationship even after it is long over. Moreover, the lyric, the way the tires turn stones on old country roads, they leave a muddy underneath, reminds me of you, highlights the irrevocable way the relationship and subsequent breakup have changed her. In the chorus, she sings that she swore I'd get out of here, saying that she promised herself she would get over the relationship, but that no amount of freedom gets you clean, I still got you all over me which personifies how difficult it can be to get over a person, and that the memories and words spoken in the relationship last long after it ends. The line also connects to the song Clean, in which Taylor sings, Gone was any trace of you, I think I am finally clean, suggesting that that is the moment she finally got over the relationship, which is not the case in this song. It creates a narrative across her albums. That's When is a duet with Taylor and Keith Urban that illustrates the regret felt in the aftermath of a breakup. In the first verse, Taylor sings, I said I need some time, need some space, taking a break from a relationship, and then shows the regret felt from this decision, illustrated later in the line, when can I come back? In the second verse, Keith reflects on his ex's desire to get back together, singing, I said I know when you said I did you wrong, and chooses to leave the mistakes in the past. In the end, the couple seems to make their way back to each other, and start fresh, saying that at any time, when it's sunny, when I'm crying, they love each other. And yeah, that's all for the video. Let me know what you think about the song in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up, subscribe over here. If you're not subscribed already, follow me on all my social media. All my links are down below in the description box. I love you guys so much. Keep loving and keep smiling. Bye.